Hi there, this is our Taiwanese radio alarm drill. It's a uh, really nice medium sized drill, um, not too big, not too small, really good quality. It's coming out of a university, it's in really really good condition and doesn't look as though it's done a lot of hard work. It's got some nice features. Um, it's got the um, uh, nice clamping system on it, um, your wee joystick here for your up and down and also your rotation of your spindle. It's got a couple of micro switches um, on that uh, counterbalance area where you'll see in the photos um, where if you bring it down on the um, quill um, it'll start up and then if you um, get it to the end of its travel it'll turn off etc which I'll show you through coolant system, no light. Um, so we'll start from the back. So the, um, the back there is really tidy. Main isolation switch here. The column's in very good condition. And so is this here. It looks really, really tidy. Um, the quill itself looks nice and uh, feels nice to operate. You've got your gear change over here, your sight glass over there for your clutches, etc. Uh, feed. Oh, the only thing that I noticed on it is um, the clamping button. You've got two clamping uh, buttons here, um, uh, clamp and unclamp. Um, uh, the um, red one is the clamp and um, the unclamp one um, is missing the wee um, red um, uh, button that goes on the end. Um, there's still a plastic thing to, to push, um, so it's safe enough to do so, but yeah, that's missing that wee button. Alright, we'll start with the um, clamps and unclamps, so um, I'll unclamp that now. So that's unclamped, oh that's rolling towards me a bit now. Um, so that's unclamped, um, this axis, um, the up and down, and this here, um, which is nice to operate. And so I'll take it up and down, um, so that's up there. I've noticed that uh, joystick in there. Um, isn't overly positive, um, so that's that was up and down. I'll do that again. Up, down. So it's nice and smooth to go up and down, etc. And um, in the uh, and so I'll lock that there, and that's locked those. Axes there, so that's that clamping system. It's nice and easy to get to, etc. Um, so spindle direction you've got on this joystick. Um, oh, so I'll have to just bring it down so it's um, off that thing. So the micro switch. So that's anti-clockwise at the moment, neutral and clockwise. I'll take you through the feeds. Um, so that's got the feed running there. You'll see that wee hand wheel where you can do that. And um, I'll just change those speeds, so high and low range, um, and then your small increments. That's nice and easy to change through. And it's working nicely. So I'll engage that feed, so that's engaging you going down, you should be able to see that. So those are the feeds, um, so if I bring that right up, it'll actually stop it. So those are the feeds there, I'll take you through the speed range, it's got um, 12 gears there, um, 6 um, uh, will operate um, by this H type um, gear change here, and then we'll change this one range here, um, uh, the high and the low, um, uh, and then that'll let us uh, operate the other six. Um, when you do change the, the high and low range here, it changes the spindle direction on this joystick. So I'll take you through um, what we're in at the moment. Um, so starting with the slowest, um, or at least I'll take you through half of them. Um, uh, so that's 32 RPM there. Sixty-seven. Ninety-nine. 
One, three, two. Uh, 271 572 uh, 1132 I can take you through the other range um, so and I'll change that um, a T um, um, control there so that is 46 Got it in there. Uh, 97. 193. 394. Um, 8.13. And final and fastest one, 16.55. So those are the speed ranges there, um, and the feeds, etc. Coolant pump controls there, that's it running. I haven't got any coolant in it. Um, it doesn't have a lamp, it's got a control for one there, but doesn't have one. Amp gauge, I haven't seen that operate, but then again, I haven't had it really under any load. So that is pretty much all there is to show in regards to its operation. Um, oh, this is in really good condition. And yeah, so that's pretty pretty much it. So it's very good quality. It's um, a nice medium size. It has got some good features. And yeah, that's pretty much it.